modern life, the way we live it, is truly man's greatest disease in some ways because it has our nervous system and our, and our entire body really out of balance. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with one of the most lovely souls at A4M, Dr. Sangeeta Patty. She is an MD and a very frequent speaker at A4M, the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And this time you presented on blue zones and the principles, how to use them wherever you are if you don't live in a blue zone, or creating some atmosphere and some practices that are really gonna bring it to you. What we're going to do is incorporate some of these ideas into our own life, and we'll get it right straight from Dr. Patty. So, love this. Tell me something that people should do first. What's one of the first things we can do to bring anti-aging and true bliss to ourselves, and of course, live longer? That is answered just by really understanding that modern life, the way we live it, is truly man's greatest disease in some ways because it has our nervous system and our, and our entire body really out of balance. And out of balance in the sense that our commitments are uh, much more than the fuel that's actually in our tank. So we start getting run down. So I always uh, like to go back to balance as being one of the key things, which means really taking a look at our lives and looking at everywhere we, we put energy, like where do we put energy and is that energy that I would like to use or should I save it and use it on something more important? So uh, there's a little exercise that I like to do which is called my priorities exercise and it's got like, you know, me in the middle because one thing I did realize is that if I love myself enough to keep myself really well, the frequency and the energy that I put out to whether it's a patient or a person or a friend is going to be so much better, right? So um, put my health, my routine in the middle. That comes first, that's my day. And then circle two and circle three. And circle three, I kick that out as much as possible. Um, and right now in my circle, circle three happens to be social media, phone, and events. So I try to commit to as less as possible. And what I find is then my nutrients and my fuel tank is being used for my energy and my well-being and helping me heal and stay great. Right. And with the blue zones, one of the major principles is that people have community and they have joy, they have a blissful life, and they pay attention to family and things like that, and maybe are not co distracted with their phones all the time, doing all this kind of phone business. Yes. And I exactly. just think we can really benefit by at least limiting that, putting a boundary on it as a psychologist, <laughs> that's what I would call yes, it, a boundary. a boundary. But let's hear the next one. Yeah, so of course the first one is balance. And that balance allows us to spend time in nature and allows us to spend time in community and connection. Because one thing that is very clear, when people say we are one, it sounds, sort, of, sort of sounds a little cliche-ish, we are one. But guess what? Our energy fields are so interlinked that there's absolutely no possibility that somebody is suffering on the other side of the planet and we are fine because the energy field is actually shared and we really are one. We're like different parts of one large human collective organism. So in ancient times, the way that communities functioned is everybody didn't do everything. People did different functions and the community had everything. The only way for the human race to move forward is to go back or forward to the community. It's the only way. And that's not only in um, our lives and our tribe to have a community, but it's even in what we call business. 
business has to go back to the community. That is the new business. And if any of you have never heard um, Hamadi Ulukaya's TED Talk about the anti-CEO playbook where he basically proved um, as a founder of Chobani that you could take a group of 55 people and create a family and grow it to the largest organization that's producing yogurt by painting the walls together, by brainstorming together, like bringing everybody's skills to the table and everybody's heart to the table. Uh, so the community is critical, and I know that that is the new you on the new earth is a new you as a part of a community. And I would just say that we've been through COVID, and we've been what appeared to be separated. We had forces trying to separate us. We could visually see that and experience that. But we do need to come back together and know that we are one, no question about that. Whether you feel it or not, it's like gravity. It just is. It's quantum physics. It's metaphysics. You can't really fight it. But it's a good principle. Why don't you give us some good detox? You got any good detox today? Yes. So um, it's interesting because when I first came into the field of um, integrative uh, medicine, which they're calling anti-aging medicine, which really is not... Uh, a very good way to think about it because it applies to anybody from birth all the way to uh, whenever we leave the body. So it is not really anti-aging. But when I came and started looking for detoxes, I found all these different detoxes, supplements and all these different methods, this for the liver, that for the gut. And really? So our body is 70% water by volume, and it's 60 plus percent oxygen elementally. You don't need a medical degree to know that hydration and oxygen are going to not only turn on your innate self-healing better than anything else, but they're also going to what we call detoxify the body and displace the things that don't belong in the body. We do need to think about detoxification because man has added over 100,000 cute little chemicals to our air, our water, our food, and even the walls, the carpets, the paint. And so we have to think about how to help our bodies, right? And the best way that you can help your body, and this is ancient, and this is modern, and this is future, is to drink 100 ounces of water, preferably structured water, which is in the fourth phase. Um, and you can structure water either by getting it from a natural vortex from a spring, or you can structure it from uh, even blessing it with your energy and your thought and heart. Um, but that with lemon and pink salt, which has 16% minerals instead of 2% minerals and actually lowers high blood pressure and kidney disease. So that combination, and if you look at even ancient cultures, is utilized in Ayurveda, in Chinese medicine. It is the most powerful thing you can do. Wake up in the morning, drink a glass of that, not with ice. This should be warm. This should be a warm drink. Cold drinks are stressful on the body. Warm drinks end up healing the body. And warm doesn't mean hot. It means sort of, you know, room temperature, right? So I would say if there's one thing to take for a detox, it would be that and breathing. And obviously the most important detox is energetic, to let go of anything in your life that is energetically not serving your higher purpose. Amen. Okay. I love that. You have been through so much in this life already. Very interesting life. Great path of all kinds of wonderful science and living in very toxic, highly densely populated cities to living in a more remote place now where you can experience these things. And she spoke yesterday of you know, putting your body in the water, in the ocean, and just 
being there for 20 minutes or so. And, you know, I was going to do a little visualization since I take a bath every day, and just when I close my eyes, I'm going to picture myself in the tub. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm going to think about... I'm going to think about that because I go from the desert to the ocean, but the ocean where I am, you know, people wear a suit to get in there because it's, it's A, it's cold, and B, it's pretty dirty. It's cold, but you're, you're right on. Like, you're exactly what you're saying is what one does because it turns out that the body and the cells in our body really don't respond any differently to the reality versus the virtual reality that we created, especially if we create it in our heart. Mm -hmm. So if you're dipping yourself into the ocean and in your heart, you're not just feeling it, seeing it and so on, but you're actually emotionally feeling the movement of the water around you and how you're so protected and so loved by Mother Earth. Um, you're getting everything you need. Right, and thought becomes form. So if you can visualize it, even if you can't get into the tub, maybe you get in a shower. Maybe you picture yourself in a beautiful waterfall, and you just allow yourself, you allow your vibration to come up and feel that and how great that would feel, and you can create that. Right, and, it, and, it, and of course it turns out that here we are in a conference where they're talking about, you know, peptides and oxygen machines and all kinds of sort of advanced um, me methodologies where most of the really powerful methodologies are gifts of nature that we each have which don't cost us one penny and we always used to think oh well well maybe I believe in that maybe I don't but this is now science this is absolute proven science that a the observer changes the outcome that has been proven. So your observation of something or your projection onto something is going to change the outcome of it. And second of all, quantum entanglement. They won the Nobel Prize for that last year, proving that if I am changing a piece of a particle on this side of the universe, the partner particle is altering on the other side of the universe instantaneously. So that kind of puts the end to the question of whether or not long distance healing or long distance prayer um, is actually a reality. I mean, we always look for science to prove things, but the proof was already there thousands of years ago because it was ancient knowledge that was programmed into our DNA and we have not utilized it. So then we look for external proof through randomized controlled trials, which might have um, some function when you're utilizing things that are say, made by man, like a pharmaceutical drug, but have, in my opinion, absolutely no place when you're using the power that we have in us. This woman is a highly intelligent, beautiful soul, and I could talk to her for hours, but I think it might be important to talk about what you're creating. You're a creator. I'm a creator. We're co-creators, if yes. you prefer. But I want to know what you're doing with Blue Zones and how you are making an environment that's going to be life-changing. Okay. Well, first of all, I think it is important to realize we're co-creating. You're creating it just as much as I am because we're in this process right now, right? Mm -hmm. And so I realized that turning on innate self-healing is a lot easier than what I thought 20 years ago when I came and thought it had to do with all the advanced technologies. It's all the advanced technologies that are ancient. So I ended up being able to experience a blue zone because my daughter went to school in Costa Rica. And I had also done a lot of traveling because I was working for an international company and had a chance to watch not only different areas and cultures, but ancient ways and ancient healers in action and realize that they were using their own power and their own healing. So when I went into Costa Rica and realized that um, they're really connected to nature, they're in the sun, they are connected to the earth, their feet are in the ground, they're touching the seeds and planting them, drinking structured water, 
Uh, I was living near a river in Costa Rica, and I had the energetics of a recent hurricane carrying in my muscles. And I went into the river, and I was only dipped up to here. And my girlfriend was like, no, you need to take yourself and dip yourself underwater. And I'm kind of like a chicken. I don't like to dip my head underwater. But I did it. And I realized in that instant, as the water that was absolutely cold ran over me, that it completely removed the energetics that I was holding in my body from that hurricane, completely removed it, completely blessed me immediately. So structured water is a major thing. You can also bless your water and do that. Um, and then, of course, life is slower, so you're breathing more oxygen. And I always have realized that without joyful purpose, the body really doesn't want to stick around. So that's the fifth principle, if you will. Sun, earth, water, oxygenation, and joyful purpose connected to people and connected to nature. We are a tribe. When I live in uh, La Eco Villa, which is the place that I'm actually moving to in a month, I look at the technology of WhatsApp that we're using as a group. And people are asking, well, do you have any tomatoes? I'm out of tomatoes. Do you have garlic? Oh, I ran out of this. It's a community. It's like, who has what? Let's put it all together and let's make a better community, a stronger community. And I really realized this also when I saw it firsthand in the hurricane in Florida, where people who had nothing were sitting in front of their homes with everything they had all the water they had, all the food they had, and putting it in the pile for everybody to share. So human nature is inherently tribal. I love that. And I love what you're building. Hope to go see it soon. And I know you're having this intention to feed and to help the needs of the construction workers and really have it built with love from the beginning so that it is a healthy, mold-free, beautiful structure made with love. Yes, and from there, I'm hoping to launch an initiative that will go out to the young people, ages 15 to 35, who are motivated to get into their best version of themselves and have vibrant energy with the tools that cost nothing so I'm hoping to spread the word that you have everything, you already have it, you can easily get yourself great energy, great sleep, great mood, no anxiety, no pain, and no gastric symptoms, period. And that is how you take your power back. So the name of the initiative is Take My Power Back. <laughs> of course, I love that. And, you know, Dr. or Reverend Michael Beck, with however you want to call him, take your mind back. Yeah. And, you know, we, we have these things. We just sometimes get lost and distracted and don't use them. I believe that deeply. And I think we can benefit from so many of these principles if we just can even find a little part of the day to do them. And just get started, get started. How do you get started? Just start. It doesn't matter where, but get started and start to throw those things into your life and things will improve. Thank you so much. You know what? This is such a blessing. And you know, namaste for those of you. It's the it's the the spirit within me honors, loves the spirit within you. And from the first time I met her from another speaker at A4M and we had dinner, I knew, I knew. I was like, well, very special person. Love this energy. Yeah, <laughs> I will amazing. happily share so that you can get to experience Dr. Sangeeta Patty for yourself, maybe in Costa Rica. Just get started. That's the most important thing. Take care of yourself. And sh please share this with a friend. Suffering is optional. And life is what? You make it. Namaste. Woo. Yay. Woo. <laughs>